Hi, how to use a dynamic separator and print it to a different tray before the actual file. So for example, I've got some files here that I want to print. So I want to print those on tray, tray one, for example. So normally it will just click print and it'll print those on tray one. Now what I want to do is print a separator before each one which is populated by the information like the file name, number of pages and things like that. So what I need to do is go to options menu, separate a banner setup. I need to check this box here, generate a separate file on the fly. It will pre-populate the information. Now this is the box but I need to put another file in to set the actual settings of the printer. So to do this I'm going to go back, save and exit, click file menu, Print it set up. Now I want to set it to the what tray I want to use. Tray 2 for example. This is for the separator. Then I click on save printer settings as. So I'm going to save this as tray2.prs. You can set any setting you want. So it could be set like print it in colour and then rest in black and white, things like that. Then I go to option menu separate a banner setup. Now I'm going to browse to that file that I just created. So that's now set it to tray 2 for the separator. Now for the actual prints I want to print on tray 1 so I'm just going to go print setup tray 1. So it's ready to print now. So I'm going to print those three files. So it's going to generate a separate for test 1 and then test 2 then test 3 and print before each file. And it's going to set the trays as well. So here we go. First one should be tray two, tray two, and the actual file should be tray one, tray one. And then next file should be tray two again, tray two. And then next file after that should be tray one. And then tray two again, and so on and the actual file should be tray 1. So that's how you put a separator to a different tray before each file. Give it a try.